Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to work on this Chinese elm. Um, I haven't done anything to it this year other than weed and feed and um, obviously not a weed and feed, that's for the lawn. Uh, but you know what I mean, um, water it and just allow it to grow. Um, I haven't shown this tree on YouTube in a couple of years, I think. Um, I'll uh, try and find a link to that and put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, this tree's got a bit shaggy, a bit unkempt. It's probably the closest thing I've got to a traditional bonsai in form. Um, and it's probably one of the trees I've had the longest. I've probably had this tree 25 years plus. Um, it's probably not the longest, it's probably not the first bonsai I ever owned. I probably killed that several times over before I got to this one, but it's probably the l oldest tree I've got that still survives. And it's probably, like I said, I've probably had it 25 years. Um, and for a lot of that time I was, bringing up the family and working full-time and um, I kept it alive and that was about it really so I'm pleased that it's done well it has a very one-sided um, root system I have quite a lot of root on this side of the trunk very little on the other um, a couple of years ago I felt that this branch was far too big and needed bring them back into line but uh, I feel that's balanced out reasonably well now so it's just going to be a question of removing some of these longer growths um, and bringing the, the branches back into a semblance of a pad and at the usual um, branches that are looking straight up and I'm getting rid of those and I'm pruning in the direction of a bud so and getting rid of anything that's going back into the center of the tree A, it'll be a fairly rough chop um, and then it'll get a more detailed pruning in the winter uh, or early spring of next year when I can actually see all these inner branches um, but for now it's just a cutting back bringing it back into line making sure these lower branches aren't getting shaded back by all of this and uh, yeah just getting some ramification and shake back into the tree
Okay, so I think that's probably enough for now. Um, took off quite a bit of growth. Um, managed to get, uh, what is it they say about having a gap for the birds to fly through between some of these tiers. Um, I will try and refine that further. As I say, um, late winter, early spring of next year. What are you doing up there, Coops? Um, yeah, so hopefully um, this tree will continue to grow, developing ramifications. Um, and I will not kill it. <laughs> Always a good aim to have. As I say, and that's just pretty much a sort of midsummer or early summer tidy up. Um, hopefully the tree will throw out some extra ramifications and we can give it a good tidy up again at the beginning of next growing season. Uh, it may well get another haircut towards the back end of summer if it does. I'll make a video and you can see that too. Okay, so it's all trimmed up. Um, looking a little better, a little neater. Uh, still a few things uh, that I'd like to improve on this tree. Uh, for example, I want this branch uh, to come out a little more in this direction. Um, and perhaps a little more differentiation between this branch and this back branch, but uh, I'll work on that in the winter time. And uh, yeah, so I think this tree's biggest problem, um, if you look back at the old video, was that this branch was particular, seemed particularly um, out of proportion, and the other branches. Uh, needed to thicken up um, and that I've occurred mainly by keeping this branch cut back. Um, I did take a big chunk off here at one time um, hence this sort of sinuous curve here um, and then allowing these to grow a little bit more so yeah anyway that's enough of me rambling on and Coop's got to get in on the act as well. He's had enough of me rambling on. He thinks it's about time I wouldn't play ball, I expect. So, yeah. that's it for this one thank you all for watching and as always please take care of yourselves